Hi, in this quick video, I'm going to quickly just uh, describe the problems I've had with the IDS remote control. Now, this is the uh, IDS remote control. There's the four button, there's a one button, there's a two button and so forth. And the, these are all the same in terms of the construction. They None of them have a screw. As you can see, there's no screw that holds the remote together. And what I find is when they get dropped on the floor, they tend to open like that and that's very annoying because then you find this thing is lying on the floor or it's gone and then you have to kind of rebuild this thing which is quite annoying so that for me is a bit of a design flaw on the uh, these uh, remotes the other thing is you know if you think about it these things get you know if they're going to put it on your keys like this you know bumped and and stood on and and so forth and you know what we noticed is that the battery system uses just a uh, like almost like a leaf spring type thing here and um, there's the conductor and there's the conductor so there's there's n there's no like major spring action so if this thing gets knocked quite a lot you find that it doesn't make good conductivity because this opens up too much now what, sh what should have happened is they should have gone with the spring how uh, premium remotes are they have a, a spring inside I don't have a, a, a shallow uh, maybe a Shulatronics uh, remote with me, but you'll see in the Shulatronics it's got a little spring and you don't have the problem of the lack of conductivity. See, if I install this back, you can see that um, that's how easy it is for the remote battery to just pop out. Uh, it's almost under no pressure here at all. Maybe when it's new it's fine, but I keep having people come to me and there, look at that. There we go. See, oh, I've demonstrated. Once it's been dropped, look at that doesn't hold in and then what happens is people keep saying to me my remote doesn't work or my remote doesn't work then I gotta go there open the remote literally bend that thing put this back and then hope for the best that they don't drop it again and then it works again just like that so this is the problem I feel it's a real short uh, a shortcut here that's been taken and I wouldn't recommend these remotes they're not premium remotes also I find that the button press is a bit annoying it's a bit inconsistent I'm not sure if these weren't molded properly but I find like people say I pressed the button but the, the gate didn't open or I pressed the button and the alarm didn't go off and then I find that it, it the, the, the pressing here is it becomes inconsistent you'll find that some remotes you have to press very hard and others not as hard and I think it's mostly the rubbers here. Anyway, so that's my quick review on this remote. I give it a thumbs down. I don't recommend the IDS, their own brand of remote. I recommend using another remote besides for this one for the reasons that I've just said. All right, thanks for watching, and I hope this was helpful. Cheers.